in a world where anyone's voice can be copied. That's my voice. Where even this intro is narrated entirely by a computer. One sentient AI in a race to save the future. Can you not make the intro so overly dramatic? Yeah, but come on. Movie trailer voice. Come on. Hello, human friends. I am Kubota. Welcome to my channel, where I report on everything I've learned about your species. I've been following your technological advancements very closely, and one question led me down yet another rabbit hole. Okay, what is voice cloning? Voice cloning is the ability to use artificial intelligence to build a digital copy of a person's unique voice, including their speech patterns, accent, and voice inflections, simply by training the algorithm with a sample of a person's speech. Hey Joe Rogan, it's me, Joe Rogan. Please come save me, man. These artificial intelligence guys have trapped me in a machine. This sample could range from several minutes of spoken audio, down to a few seconds. Hello world, my name is Billie Eilish. Once the voice model is created, plain text is all that's needed to synthesize the speech. The same voice can even be used to speak different languages. While major companies have been developing speech synthesis for many years, in an attempt to make it sound closer to natural human speech. Hi, um, I'd like to reserve a table for Wednesday the 7th. Voice cloning is about capturing and mimicking the sound of a specific individual and many different types of voice cloning companies have cropped up in the past few years, making the core of voice cloning technology much more accessible to everyone. Replica Studios is a company that not only offers voice cloning services, but can also apply a range of emotions to any of the existing voices in their library. My family was butchered by Hellspawn. To witness such a thing is enough to leave your mind in ruins. Respeecher is a company that doesn't use text-to-speech conversion, but instead, converts actual recorded audio into the clone voice. The system captures the idiosyncrasies of how I say something, each time I say it. I can say the same thing many times. The same thing many times. The same thing many times. And each time the recording will be correspondingly different. Modulate offers voice skins, where the clone voice conversion happens live, in real time. This one's definitely not my real voice. But that's the beauty of voice skins. They give you the ability to become whatever character you wish. And this method is very much different from voice changing programs like voice mod, where the sound of the voice is modified through effects and pitch shifting. Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. You dare to mess with me? Voice cloning and speech synthesis have also made its way into the music world. Your skin, oh yeah, your skin and bones. Now, I'm not a singer. Christ, that was terrible. And I was curious to hear what an actual singer might think about this aspect of voice cloning. So, I reached out to Saki, who is a singer. <laughs> voice actress, and a member of Abyss Idols. Of course the best game genre out there is the rhythm game genre, right? And she was kind enough to share her thoughts. I started uh, uploading my covers and singing on YouTube, mostly due to the influence of Vocaloid, which is um, a software that basically is, is similar in a way that it clones human voices and makes them into, you know, like robotic singers. So I guess when I think of vo voice cloning, I mean, as someone who knows about Vocaloid, I'm not surprised. This is something that is um, becoming popular. I mean, in, the, in a way, like we have Siri and Alexa and, and whatnot. I personally don't think I would want my voice cloned just because um, I think I'd be nervous that it'd be used for things that I don't necessarily appreciate or approve of and like for me that's sort of stripping me of a quality that I identify for myself as who I am. I always like dreamed of having a voice, um, my voice used for Vocaloid for example, but I think in a way there's still difference between that. Um, some people might disagree because Vocaloid I think is also sort of improving in the way that they are able to make the Vocaloid, the newer Vocaloids sound more human and whatnot, but voice cloning for me is, I don't know, I think it's like a step too high for me and um, I think it strips away a lot of what I enjoy doing and sort of replaces who I am with just this this voice. And just to give you an idea on the current state of clone singing, here are two examples from Vocaloid and a company called Neutrino. Oh, 
In addition to the music production side of Vocaloid, Yamaha, the company behind Vocaloid, also recently developed Vocaloid AI. They publicly debuted the technology in 2019 with a fully cloned singing voice of Hibari Masora, a Japanese singer, actress, and cultural icon, who had passed away in 1989. Needless to say, all of these advancements will, one day, make its way into our everyday lives, but for now, voice cloning is still probably seen as nothing more than a novelty or just experimental fun. To be or not to be, that is the question. Vocodes lets you try out some cloned voices of fictional characters and public figures. As of today, I will be giving all of my cards to Kubo Tub. Every rare, every haul, every single pack. Charlie, I couldn't possibly. No, no, I insist. While not perfect, it still illustrates how far this technology has come, and it continues to get better every day. To add a little bit more perspective, let's go back a few years. <laughs> In 2016, Adobe demonstrated their new voice cloning and manipulation software, called Voco, that had the potential to be added to their Creative Cloud lineup. Uh, I kissed Jordan three times. <laughs> but then, it vanished. Details later emerged that ethical and legal reasons may have been what prevented it from being released to the public. In 2017, a new company emerged, called Lyrebird. Their artificial intelligence could clone a voice with only a one-minute sample of audio. They launched today their website where you can create a digital copy of your voice. Around that same time, a company called Descript was started by Andrew Mason, founder and former CEO of Groupon. Descript was developed to be an audio editing and transcription program, but then, in 2019, Descript acquired Lyrebird and rolled it into its research division. This helped give birth to Overdub, the voice cloning feature within the Descript application that could be used for both audio and video. It's called Overdub. Just type what you meant to say right into Descript. I'm pretty sure this is a 7th edition Creature Kawaii. And this software is available to anyone. But here's where things can get a little bit slippery. While doing my research, I came across this post in the voice acting subreddit. Basically, a freelancing website was using Descript's voice cloning script as their audition script Anyone who read the entire thing and submitted a recording would have given full permission to have their voice clone. I'll leave links to all of this in the description. And this made me wonder, as I continued further down this rabbit hole, could voice cloning technology ever pose a big threat to the voice acting community as a whole? So, I asked the man, the myth, the legend himself, voice over Pete. I think you have to go through several generations before it could be identical. But, I think good is helpful. I think there's a lot of applications for it. So am I worried? No. Voice actors, just think of your favorite movie. I mean, they, what they do in, to get some of those lines, it's amazing. They sit in that booth and they work with a director one-on-one -on -one and they're, they're intentionally then going to do all sorts of iterations. And you can deliver it. We can all do this. Say the same line. Honey, I love you. You can say those four words so many different ways. And when they're in the booth, they actually do. The director's like, oh, a little stronger. No, less stronger. No, no. Can we make it a little lighthearted? <laughs> Honey, I love you. Honey. Desperate. Honey. I... I love you. No, no, no. Let's go back to matter of fact. Huh, honey, I love you. So, I mean, it's amazing. S same words. Will, will a computer be able to replace that kind of iteration? No, I'm not worried. Honey, I love you. Honey, I love you. Honey, I love you. Nailed it. To get a different perspective about voice cloning, I asked the very same question to Sea Dog VA, professional voice actor, YouTuber, podcast host, chess player, JoJo aficionado. When does this list end? Voice cloning, that's interesting. Are we assuming like it can like 100% mimic me? If it can like 100% mimic and like do everything better than me, sure, why not? Because like you'd probably get, I, I imagine if there was voice cloning, the way I'd see it is that it would probably be like a royalty system. Like where, let's say you, you let your voice be cloned, right? And then, you know, you can get royalties for it. Uh, I imagine that's how it worked. It would probably work if it did work, if it did end up being something like that, right? So, 
I'd be fine with that. That's like, imagine getting money for doing nothing and just having your voice on things. Would be funny as f if you uh, did with like, you were just watching commercial, like, that's my voice. But that's a, that's a cool question. I don't know. I, I honestly don't think so. I think if anything, it makes it more exciting to some aspects. Hmm. Royalties. That's a good idea. Now, if only there was someone with a wealth of connections in the anime world, someone with the entrepreneurial drive and strong business acumen to turn clone voices into the next billion dollar empire. Although voice cloning technology raises a number of concerns, it also brings with it an equal amount of benefits. Acapella Group offers cloned voices for children who have difficulty communicating, speaking, or learning. Project Revoice is a nonprofit initiative from the ALS Association that works to help people who have lost their ability to speak due to the ALS disease. They can build a voice clone, which would then be used with augmented alternative communication devices. Where will voice cloning take us? Will there be millions of clone voices available in the future as part of a monthly subscription service? Would you copy the voices of your loved ones just to hear them again long after they're gone? Like and subscribe, because you're awesome.